So glad to be here tonight honoring John Luke's birthday, so we thought, <laughs> and all sorts of other things. So, um, so John Luke, what happened tonight? She said yes. She said yes. I knew from the beginning that I was going to marry Mary Kate. Two weeks into dating, her dad asked me, John Luke, what is your plans for my daughter? And I said, I'm going to marry her. When John Luke told me that he was ready to get engaged, I could see that he was totally in love with her. And so I wasn't surprised. It was a lot like us, where you find the right person, you think it's right, and you just go with it, you know? Yeah, like, what are you waiting on? When right. you find the right person, you kind of think, why wait? All right. Well, I think we know what you need. So. Yeah, that sounds good. My groomsmen, they're going to need to be measured, too. OK. All of them are? All of them. What's up, girls? <laughs> Tom, how you doing? You, Tom Baker, good to hey, see Tom, you. Hey, Tom, how you doing, man? Right. What's up, Ranger Rick? How's it going, brother? You work here? Zach, nice to meet you. Zach? I actually live in New York. Yeah, this is Zach. He's my stylist. How are you? <laughs> John Luke, I didn't know you had a stylist. I met Zach on Instagram, actually. He commented on my picture, and I looked, and I was like, I like this guy's style. One thing led to another, and I asked him to come down and to style me, which Dad doesn't understand at all. This guy, tight pants. Are you styling for all the people in the wedding? All the men's wear, uh -oh. so. Styling for you. Let me tell you something. I don't want any pants that look like any of y'all's pants. <laughs> so, uh, you look like an Amish attorney. An Amish attorney? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Like a little boy band. That's what we're going for, yeah. That's why I don't have a stylist. All right. We got to get you wearing something fresh, so. Well, I do have a camo suit that I want to wear. Are you serious? You have to match us. I'm the preacher. I don't, the preacher doesn't have to match. What were you saying? You, you were given an idea about possibilities of, like, customizing the, the jacket, or? You can put anything as far as the lining's concerned. You can put anything you want on there? On the inside? Anything you could send down on a PDF. Huh. Hmm. First good idea he's had. I, I have plenty of good ideas. First you good asked, idea. Right? He's my stylist. He'll be awesome. American flag pattern. Now that is filthy. That's that's yeah, different. That's something really that unique. Something. <laughs> Heck yeah. You know what, boys? I've decided I'm gonna get measured for a jacket. Wow, that's that's all it took. Cause that was it. Measure me up. You want a pocket square? Measure me up. I can get you a pocket square. I mean, styles have changed. You know, we have my dad there in a pair of, what were those called? Corduroys. Corduroys. Al, my older brother, was sporting a mullet. <laughs> you know, really put a damper on the wedding. <laughs> I did not. He just ruined our pictures. <laughs> I mean, my thoughts on a woman's wedding dress is really just accessibility. Like, what? how quickly can you oh, get that goodness. sucker off? Because some are way too elaborate. What about those wedding dresses that are like a hundred of tiny buttons? Hey, they'd be picking them suckers up off the floor. <laughs> if I were gonna give Mary Kate any advice, choose something you really like, but it's more about you starting your lives together and spending it the rest of your lives making each other happy, right? It's a good point. Or why not mix it up? Why not have the guy look awesome and the girl just kind of be like, man, bride always has this long, awesome dress and all this. Why don't she just be like real plain Jane, and then he comes out in something crazy, awesome, long okay. tux that drags okay, the that's ground. That's a terrible idea. That's the way River's going to do it. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, psh. Oh, mm -mm. I've already planned this out, and it's going to be awesome. What was your wedding dress? <laughs> Keep in mind, I got married in 92, and uh -huh. so it had the shoulder pads. It had, like, a really deep, like, V of lace oh, right yes, here. yes, that was popular. <laughs> it was, yeah. My dress was funny, but so was the flower girls, too, and all the bridesmaids. So they wore, like, black velvet <laughs> He can't top, throw them under And then the white. You picked it. <laughs> it's your wedding. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Mary oh, Kate. Oh, my goodness. Come wow. model for us. I don't think I really want like a straight down to fitted, but I do like the neckline on it. We're getting super close to the wedding and everything's just becoming a lot more real and I'm just very ready for it to be here. All right, what do you want to try next? Um, something a little more like flowy, I think. 
So we have been in touch with Miss Sherry Hill, and she has come from Austin and is coming to help us try to find a dress. That a lot. That. Yeah, love that back. That's really pretty. Yeah. I still like the high neck bow on the other dress, yeah. I think. Mary-Kate has actually been my best friend for longer than her and John Luke have been dating. I am the one that set them up. I made John Luke ask her out on a date because I knew that she had a crush on him. And so he finally listened to me and did, and now they're getting married. So I am taking all the points for this one. Why don't we have your bridesmaids put on their gowns so you can kind of get a visualization? Because I'm thinking the next one might be it. All right. It's crazy, but it's so exciting to have the first wedding in our family is really exciting. So how does it feel to see Mary-Kate in a wedding dress? I never expected it this early. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so now seeing her in the dress, it really makes it real. Yes. How old were you when y'all yeah, got married? Yeah. We were the opposite of y'all. We got married, I was almost 32. One so I guess you were a little surprised when she said she was going to get married at 19. Yeah, that was a big difference. Because it was normal for us, because I was 18 and mom right. was 18. But for y'all, yeah. Getting married when you're this young, it's just like a whirlwind. I mean, you, you kind of like don't remember anything, then all of a sudden you're married. I mean, it just happens so fast. It's surprising, but I know that it can work out. I look back at that time and look at the pictures, and it just felt like a fairy tale. I think it's going to be hard for her dad when he sees her in the gown. Is he going to cry on the wedding day? He probably will. It feels like yesterday. I cannot believe we're here. and. Our baby boy's getting married. Oh, oh yeah. Willie's gonna cry. Yeah, I'm Willie sure Willie cry. will. Uh huh. Yeah. I just feel really honored and blessed that we have so much family around to be a part of it with us. Okay, here they come. Oh, oh my God. goodness! It looks so pretty. Oh, okay, please. it's not even the wedding, and I'm gonna cry. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ladies, I think this is it. This is the one. <gasps> oh, oh my, my goodness! Gosh. Gosh. That's so the early. one. <laughs> The Robertson men's look is pretty much just, if it grows, let it grow. But I didn't think you were going to be like that. Lily was like the preppy Robertson. You were kind of doing your own thing, shaving, cutting your hair. Showering. Yeah. I'm trying to remember, Miss Kay, the last time I had a haircut. I know exactly. It's been like over 30 years ago. Look, if I shave right now, I look 20 years younger. Wouldn't that be something? I'm oh, serious. They would say, good, good. For, who is that? Well, what I fell in love with is not what you look like now. Uh oh. Yeah, I had like a crew cut. No beard. It was great. I told you I don't want you to ever cut your hair short. Shave your beard. But I still want dreads. No. No perm and no dreads. It wouldn't look good on you. It looks good on some people. Well, how would you know unless you tried it? I just know. It's like those fedora hats on you. All right, so what I was thinking is trim up the sides a bit. What we're going to do is probably fade it in and then keep it a little bit longer on top. It's going to need to be trimmed a bit. John, look, you're getting haircut advice from a bald guy. That's kind of ironic, isn't it? Gosh, that, that hurts my heart a little bit. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, easy, easy, easy. I mean... Let's take this slow, OK? You're going to see a lot of hair fall. Are you ready for this? Is there any way to keep the man bun? Just in this last week, I got this man bun, and I'm super excited about it. And <laughs> I finally got to this point. I've waited so long. So this is devastating to have to cut it off. You sure you're going to do this? This is for Mary, Kate. Now, let's do it. I guess marriage is about sacrifice. So this is, the, this is my, my sacrifice going into to the wedding. John Luke, are you getting your hair cut yet? Not yet. We're about to. John Luke, are you nervous? Dad, just stop talking. We're in it together, all right? For the first time in 11 years, I'm cutting my hair short. I think I'm ready. You're going to see your dad with short hair. You're really doing it, John? Here we go. For the first time in 11 years, I'm cutting my hair short. You're really doing it, John? We're in it together, all right? You sure you're going to do this? This is for Mary Kate. Go for it, John Luke. You only get married once, hopefully. Here we go. It's all coming off, boys. This is what guys have to do for their future wives. You say, yes, ma'am, I'm going to go get it cut. How do you want to cut? Show me a picture. Ooh, John Luke. They fired up the weed whacker on you, hadn't they? But once you're married, all bets are off. You can basically look like this. 
Ugh. All right, John Luke. Mine's pretty short. Mine too. Are huh. you kidding me? I'm not kidding, but are you kidding? I just got my hair cut. Dad tricked me, told me he was getting his hair cut, and he didn't. I mean, you said you were getting it buzzed off. That's what you're, that's what we. John Luke's haircut is hideous, let's face it. Have you seen yourself? You look like Demi Moore on Ghost, but a little more girly. I'm going through kind of an identity crisis right now. You look like you're 12 years old. But I'm sure I'll get used to it. Well, it's not done yet. All right. Oh, yeah. man. You need to fertilize that thing, grow that mess back out. Jep is probably the worst planner I've known ever. I'm a wing it man. I know. And I'm a planet girl. So that's why we go perfect together. Yeah. Hey. I'm your wing man. Hmm? Hmm? Wing it man. Have you ever heard the phrase, love is in the details? It's like the details matter. The details show that you care I've never and you heard took the term, time. love is in the detail. It's a term. I don't even agree Somebody with it. Somebody said it. They probably weren't a good party planner. <laughs> I'm kind of like more of the spontaneous type, I would say. What do you think? Yep, that's true. I did write one note. I said, Miss Kay, I love you. I always have, and I always will. So she taped that on the back. The board, headboard. The headboard of the bed. That's been years ago. 20 years ago. The note is still there. John Luke is not the world's best planner. <laughs> He's pretty much just a spur of the moment kind of guy. I plan really quickly in short bursts. <laughs> Which is not really considered planning. Um. So here's the layout. We'll have the ceremony set up here. OK. We're going to walk from the house and then have chairs on either side. I just don't want anybody having to stand up because it's going to be hot. So we just want to make sure we have plenty of chairs. That we will is. make it happen. That'd be awesome, yeah. yeah. I think, you know, this day and age, the grooms are at the meeting and, you know, really involved in choosing the cake and the flowers and every every aspect of it. So it's very exciting. And your bridesmaid dresses are what color? They're like pink, pink. but not like a bright pink. Like, like a, a cranberry? Soft. Blush. Yeah. But a little darker than blush. Definitely a pink. I just think it's really great that John Luke's even here because I don't think Willie did anything but just show up at the wedding. So the fact that John Luke's really involved in this wedding planning process is pretty cool. Yeah, I want to incorporate dried flowers too. So we have live and dried, kind of the idea that your love will last forever. Oh, that's nice. That is neat. That'd be really, really sweet. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten a whole lot out of this so far. I love that. That's cute. That's, that's a great a idea. idea. Mm -hmm. I think so too. They're talking about dresses and flowers and colors and all this stuff. All I'm really concerned about is the hot dogs. No, we're not having hot dogs at our wedding. Enchiladas, ribs, chimichanga. You know, those big old turkey legs. Well. Snowballs, churros, like a lot of meat. Or like a cute like little a taco, taco, like a mini, mini taco. taco. Yeah. OK, that is a really cute idea. I love that That's idea. That's a good idea. This is why I keep out of the planning. Doesn't that sound so cute? That's really cute. That's cute. That'd be good. That'd be cute. That's really cute. So cute. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be cute. Yeah. What about the chimichanga? No. I mean, what do you even do at a bachelor party? Most of them I've been to, I was not impressed. What I did on my bachelor party was we crammed the boat full of my friends and brothers, and we went frog hunting. <laughs> Nowadays, people go on, like, bachelor, like, trips. That's people getting married at, like, 30. When you're money. older, you yeah. got money, you can you're do that. you're 18, yeah. you're like, maybe we can go to the mall. <laughs> <laughs> I've never attended a bachelor party. And you never will, I'm sure. So we're here just to celebrate you and your bridesmaids, because they're the people that have kind of shaped you to who you are today and your family that's here. And it's going to be a transition going from having your girlfriends being your number one. But go into it head first. Sacrifice it all. Love them without abandon. John Luke and I decided we wanted to do something different other than your traditional bachelor party, bachelorette party. So I went with a luncheon for my bridesmaids. And John Luke decided something a little different against my better judgment. Oh, yeah.
John, look, there's a one in one million chance that you're about to lose your life. Me and my groomsmen are about to jump out of a plane at 10,000 feet and just hope the parachute opens. Yeah! Mary Kay is worried that I'm going to get hurt, but I've told her time and time again, I'm not just going to get hurt. I'm either going to be OK or I'm not, <laughs> which didn't help the situation. Dude, he's so high. <laughs> Let me get in the middle so I'm like the mom. Yeah. That's so cute. I love it. Oh my goodness. Look how cute. For y'all to get ready and like do your hair and makeup and stuff. Oh, there he is. There he is. That's cute. Those are darlings. And they're made in the United States. So cute. We're just so thankful for everyone that's here and what they've done in shaping Mary Hayden to who she is today. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's fly. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Good right turn. Yeah. If I had to do wedding vows now, it would be so awesome. What would they be? Tell me some. Tell them about how your hair is like golden braids. It's not even braided. It's a metaphor. Just golden locks. <laughs> and I would just go on about like, all oh, your good features and. Oh, my heart. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to look like this forever. <laughs> You're not? Remember when he said I'm on the river? You can't even remember that. Can when you? Marie did the vows? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. That was actually a better wedding than the first one. The one we remember the most. Yeah. yeah. All I remember is I was waiting, hey, for Al to say, you may kiss the bride. Let's eat. My promise to you is I love you forever. I promise you that I will always put the seat down. What seat? The toilet seat. Okay, so here's what I got. I got a few notes. Uh, I'm basically gonna talk about marriage as being a house. Okay, yes, sir. So your marriage is gonna be a house. You cool with that? Hmm. So John Luke and Mary Kate asked me to officiate the wedding, so I guess I'm the preacher. I'm gonna try to keep it super short, hopefully 10 minutes. What I like to do is bring the couple out and kind of ease the nerves up a little bit and talk about the vows and just to get the, the brain thinking because once I get in front of all the people, I've seen it before, most people just lock up. So do you have vows or do you um, get I have mine. Blank, I love you. Did you just steal these offline or did you write them? Offline. But I went through a lot. That ain't gonna work. John Luke, or did you write them out, or do you want me to? They're in my head. Let's go ahead and hear them then. Right now. Yeah, they're in your head. Run them through that mouth. Mary Kate, I love you. And you are an amazing person. This is a vow. This is not just talking about her. That's not a vow. That's just saying stuff about her. A vow is like, I promise I'll do all this stuff. Mary Kate, I vow that I will love you forever, and I vow to be faithful. I don't faith. know you got to keep saying I okay. vow. Okay. Just we got like it's a vow. Okay, the vow con continuation of the vow. I will love you through sickness and in health. Mm, that's overused. Too I think. Old, yeah, too old. stick with the love, like. I love you. I vow to love you. Um, I, I cannot vow that I'll be the perfect husband, but I vow that I will try. Ooh, I cannot vow to be the perfect husband. And everybody goes, <gasps> but I vow that I will try. try. That I will try. I will try. That I will die. I will die. Die right. trying. No, 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 I'm just, I'm spit, I'm spitballing, spitballing. Um, and I will. I vow that right, I leave will out die. Dad. Leave out the die part. Okay. Yeah, that's stupid. We're all coming together for this rehearsal dinner, 
it's going to make for a different sort of situation. <laughs> my family is a little bit different than John Luke's family. My family is a little more out there. I don't think we had a rehearsal dinner, do we? I don't think so. I think we did. I, I think do. they went ahead a little run through. Is that when we had the wrestlers there? No, that's the reunion. <laughs> Who brings wrestlers to their wedding? Yeah. I always view the rehearsal dinner as the moment where you're declaring to them, you know, we got your back. Oh, that was mud. Okay, if we can get everybody just kind of seated and I'm gonna position you. I think they just look so sweet all holding hands like that. Get all the goofiness out today. Mm, I'm doing this tomorrow too. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. oh no. Here come the flower boys. First one that gets here gets a big prize. First one here. Oh, oh no. it's chaos. Oh, it's yeah. mm, we're getting married. Mm. Who giveth this lady? <laughs> Me and my wife. So we now pronounce you man and wife, so y'all can walk that way. We're married. Let's just leave. Let's just keep walking. And when they get to about the second row, then you two come together. Um, I think we nailed that. Okay. All right, welcome, everybody. We're uh, thankful that you all showed up. We've got food. Corey's already prepared it all and slaving <laughs> away all day. Oh, that is heavenly. The scariest part after the parachute had gone out, we were like doing like spin he was like spinning us around. Hey, do we look alike? Yeah. Did you see how cute BK and River look sitting at that little table? Are y'all just talking about kids stuff? I, I'm feeling good now. Okay, we have a quick little game for John Luke and Mary Kate to see how well they know themselves and each other. So pick up your ping pong paddle. Stand up. You have to stand up. So the wedding's tomorrow, and it's going to be beautiful and perfect. But I want Mary Kate and John Luke to know that the first year of marriage might be a little tough. All right, here we go. Who is the better driver? Oh, God. The hands down. Willie and I actually fought like cats and dogs our first year of marriage. Who is more stubborn? Oh. Think about this one. one, two, three, go. Oh. So after the wedding, I know that there's going to be some difficult times. Who says I'm sorry first after an argument? But you're gonna get through them and it's gonna be great on the other side. It's the last one. Who do you love the most in all the world? Aww. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, push to the champagne and uh, we're gonna have some speeches. Family dinners have been such an important part of our lives. All men and women have quirks. Suck it up and live with it. <laughs> That's the tamest speech he's done in five years, so let, let it go. It's a time when we come together and sit down and acknowledge that we are family. No secrets. So you got a little less than 24 hours to work that out. <laughs> and this family dinner is probably the most important family dinner that I've ever set in in my entire life. From the time Mary Kate was, was born, I began praying that God would send a godly young man and somebody that would honor her and provide for her and protect her and, and cherish her. And along comes John Luke. Because not only is it, is it my family, but now it's Mary Kate's family sitting at the table. And all of us sitting here acknowledging that we are about to be one big family. One story that I want to think about is we were on a vacation. And uh, we all had to go walk in a line because there wasn't enough room. You know how that is. And guess who was the last in line? And so I was coming along trying to keep up with everybody. And all of a sudden, I looked up, and you know who got behind me? Well, watching John Luke grow up, he was always such a cute little boy. He really was. But he was more than just a regular little boy to me. He always had a kindness about him. And I said, John Luke, you don't have to stay back here with me. And he said, Mama, okay, I want to. 
this is the place I want to be. Who else would think about me trying to catch up with everybody else? Me and Phil and oh. other people. <laughs> that is a joke. For John Luke to find his soulmate for a lifetime makes me so happy because I know they're just like Phil and I. They're committed for life. Mary Kay, when you sent me just a sweet little thank you note, it was the sweetest card I ever got. So I just start crying. And Phil said, why are you crying? And I said, it's Mary Kate's card. I said, it makes me see why John Luke loves her so much. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> One card made that much difference. And that's the end of my talk. So I want to say to Mary Kate how I've always prayed and said that John Luke needed someone that would laugh at all his weird things he did. Mary Kate is that person. Like, she just laughs and, and thinks whatever he does is cute, and I love that. And that's how I remember feeling about Willie, all the weird, strange things he would do I thought were so cute. <laughs> and I still do. <laughs> Mary Kate is unselfish and kind and loving and patient and gentle and all those things that um, you would want in a spouse. And um, I think he's found that in Mary Kate, and I'm really, really excited about that. Cheers to a long and happy marriage full of fun and laughter and strange, weird things that you think's cute. <laughs> Advice I would give to Mary Kate is grow and change together. And that's kind of what Willie and I have done, and I think that um, Charlie and Mary Kate will do the same. All right, I just want to say I'm super excited about John Luke and Mary Kate's upcoming wedding. It's insane to think that we actually have children that are getting married. So I want to thank really everybody that's here tonight. It literally took all these people to raise, you know, these kids. And so people had to help out in a lot of ways. So um, thank you so much, John and Chris. Um, so thankful for them for all the many things that they've done. Um, thank you to... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Get it out tonight so you can make it through tomorrow. <laughs> I've committed. I've committed to not cry tomorrow. <laughs> oh, oh, shoot. I got the bad gene of the family, so. That's the best gene you got. I know, I need Phil's gene, I'm good. Mm. Mama, Papa, um, everybody that's been involved in John Luke's life, we're so thankful. The Robertson side of the family, Mama, Papa, Phil, and Kay, um, Chase, Al, Chip. The whole family, love y'all. Love to the new friends that we've met, new family. Um, we're so glad that you're the guy that you are. What a unique freaking person that you are. I mean, did you just say that? He did so many things like as a teenager that I wanted to do, but I was scared to do, and he did it. And um, I would never total my dad's truck because I, I would think that would be bad for me, but you just Jace did it. Did you know, you just did it. Jay's did it, but, you know. <laughs> Mary Kate, we're behind you. We love you, and uh, it's going to be a great ride, so uh, there'll be no crying tomorrow. <laughs> for me, at least. I don't know about y'all, but uh, we're so thankful that y'all came. Cheers to all of you. In my mind, that was going to be so much cooler. <laughs> our wedding day. I mean, you wake up just so excited. I was thinking, this is it. But I had no misgivings, no, I don't know about this deal, nah. I love the woman. I would say the biggest concern the day of my wedding was probably my hair. It was. I mean, we had some big hair back then. I had to make sure it stayed up. My biggest fear is that when I'm saying my vows, I stumble over my words. Because I see there's videos of people who <laughs> mix up their wedding vow words, and I do not want to be one of those people. My other fear is that I don't get to eat at the reception. I think probably most brides are probably thinking, mm, I pray I don't have a bad case of diarrhea, and that would be awful in a white dress. It would be devastating. 
And for your honeymoon, too. Wouldn't be good. Oh, that would not be good. So I just checked the weather, and it is actually saying 100% chance of rain. I hope that it doesn't start raining. This, that would be a little bit of a damper, but that's OK. We're just ignoring that and pretending as if that didn't happen, and we're just going with it. I had so many people earlier, they were commenting, and they were like, I can't believe you're not nervous. I wish I was. Like, I hope I'm like that one day. And I'm like, I'm just so relieved that it's here. <laughs> we made it. and. But today, it is what it is. Like, hopefully, it just it's gonna be all comes beautiful. around. That's right. So this is going to go over the top and then underneath. Yep. Yeah, so that's it, man. That's really that's pretty. pretty. Today's the day. All the hard work and preparation leading up to the day will be over in just a few hours. But, you know, it's going to be a little emotional for Willie and I because this is our first child to be getting married, but we really feel like, you know, the saying that you're not losing a son, you're gaining a daughter, and we really feel like that. So we are um, beyond excited about tonight. All right, guys, we got about like 10 minutes till photos, so we really got to get get moving. I can't believe John Luke is getting married. I mean, like, to me, he's still like a little boy. But I'm really excited, yeah. All the siblings, I think, are a little sad because they um, are going to miss him, for sure. This is so weird. I cried for, like, three hours last night. <laughs> we have planned this for, like, eight months now, and now, like, today's the date. And they're about to move, and everything's going to change. It's a good thing we have so many siblings, so I'm not left alone. Are you nervous? <laughs> you know, you, you ready? What are you feeling right now? I felt like how I felt before I jumped out of the plane. It's like my heart's kind of racing, but you know, like, you're doing it. You're jumping out of the plane. That's kind of how it feels. Do you think you'll cry? I'm telling myself I'm not, but... Bets, bets. If you guys think he will cry at some point today, raise your hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a soft guy. He's a soft guy. I remember you came to the house for something that day, and I was pulling out, and we, we saw each other in the cars, remember? We weren't supposed to see each other that day. Yeah, that's right, because you we said it was going to be bad luck. Yeah, but we just, like, saw each other through the car windows. Yeah. That was it. That was kind of cool, I thought. <laughs> I thought, well, she's still in town. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Great. No rain. Oh, no. Awesome. I'm feeling good. I'm getting ready. My heart's racing, but my mind is telling me it's okay. It's fine. My body is just... I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. From the setting sun to the breaking dawn through the darkness, though the night is long. If you ever need somebody, I'll be the one. You nervous? I'm a little nervous. I mean, <clears throat> good nervous. Uh, you don't need to be nervous. Taxes should make you nervous. If you ever need somebody, I'll be the one. Oh, look. I'm always going to be your little girl, though, right, not to make you cry by saying that. You want to pray real quick? Let's do. Heavenly Father, I just want to praise you and thank you for this great day that you've given to us. Thank you for John, Luke, and Mary Kate, and Lord, for them looking to you to find their mate and you bringing them together. You ready? I'm ready, buddy. Okay. Here she comes. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. When I rounded that corner and started coming down the aisle, I did notice you got a pretty big smile on your face. Oh, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, I was. I was. Uh, I was excited. I remember when I saw you the first time in your wedding dress. I thought that is my future baby mama. That's what you thought. That's what I thought. Seriously? Yeah. Pretty awesome. 
And you have delivered. Well, it's always a good sign when your bride is walking down the aisle with two spiffy little rat terriers with her. That's a good sign. Here comes my woman and my dogs. Mm -hmm. Walking down that aisle, I'll never forget seeing his face. He was just like beaming. You cried when I walked down the aisle. Yeah. Shocker. <sighs> you ready? I'm ready, buddy. <gasps> there she is. Oh, she looks beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Hear ye, hear ye. Who giveth this young lady to my son? Her mother and I shall. Step forward, young lady. <laughs> we are assembled here in the beauty of God's creation to join John Luke and Mary Kate in holy marriage. Blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 <clears throat> you may be seated. You know, marriage is a lot like building a house. It takes work and can be stressful. So welcome to marriage. <laughs> now, unless you're Uncle Si, you probably don't talk to your house. <laughs> you just woke Si up. But you would never get angry with it. When something happens in your house, what do you do? You immediately try to get it fixed. Our house receives us every time we walk in. It keeps folks out that we don't want in, and it welcomes those in that we love. We care for it. We clean it, we keep it nice. We're proud of our house. Build it on the Lord and it will last. Okay, now for the vows. I, John Luke. I, John Luke. Take you, Mary Kate. Take you, Mary Kate. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I, Mary Kate. I, Mary Kate. Take you, John Luke. Take you, John Luke. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Rings. Okay, so each one of you start with, with this ring. John Luke. With this ring. With this ring. I promise to be patient. I promise to be patient. I promise to be kind. I promise to be kind. I will not envy. I will not envy. I will not boast. I will not boast. I won't keep a record of wrongs. I won't keep a record of wrongs. Mary Kay, you may already hit that one too. I won't keep a record of wrongs. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, that's a big one. <laughs> I promise I won't be perfect. I promise I won't be perfect. But I will never stop trying. But I will never stop trying. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, by the powers of the great state of Louisiana, we pronounce you man and wife. Bruce, you think they can kiss each other? It'll be OK it? this one time. <laughs> you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. John Luke Robertson. Ah, uh, see, who cried? You I'm did me. awesome. You're perfect. Where'd you come in? <gasps> wow. Did you believe that? I'm your, you're my husband. I'm your wife now. <laughs> I know. My wife, Mary Kate. Look at that. That just happened so easily. I know. That was so good. Make sure you get a shot where we can't see Jep's bun. What? What's up? Cut the top of his head off. All right, quit talking, Si. I'm so happy, happy, happy. I love it. It was beautiful. It was simple. The weather was perfect. I couldn't be happier. Funny picture. Funny. Funny. I had the bouquet. I'm the one that caught the bouquet. It's the Great. best day ever. Best day ever. Yeah. That, uh, it's good. I didn't know what to say. Yeah. My advice to John Luke, nine words. I'm sorry, I love you, I was wrong. It's the same advice that I would give to anybody getting married. You have no idea what the future holds. There's no way to know 
And so that's where the commitment part comes in. You just decide right then, no matter what, you're gonna do it together. Love the other one more than they love their self. If each one did that and put the other one first, I'm telling him, it's gonna work. No doubt. Become best buddies. That's good advice. Love will win the day. You just live in the moment and enjoy it, and that's what I want them to do, you know? At our age, I can look back at being 19 and 20, and I'm thinking, wow, you know, you shouldn't be worried about anything. Yeah. They're gonna have a lot of cool experiences together, and uh, they'll look back and be telling their kids about stuff they did. Nothing like a redneck wedding. <laughs> I saw John Luke's face. It was the most perfect moment I think I could have ever imagined. It was lovely. Be the wind that show back. I'm gonna spend my forever, forever like that. This looks amazing. It's awesome. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. My first reaction was, they're so young. But then I remembered how old we were, and I thought, yeah. it worked for us. It worked for us. It was hard first. Oh, you were 18? 19. You were 19. I was 20. Rosie. Corey and I have been married 23 years, and uh, seeing our oldest son get married, um, you know, just it's, it's fun. You know, having all our friends here and family, just being around, and pretty special, pretty special night. To John Luke and Mary Kate, I'm so proud of you both and I wish you all the best in life. May you be blessed with many children, wealth, and prosperity. But most importantly, the kind of happiness that can only come from the love of God and each other. The book of Romans tells us that good things happen to those who love each other and God. So be patient, because in the end, it's all worth it. Even though you had to cut your hair and get styling tips from that guy, just remember to love each other deeply. Because at the end of the day, it's just like the song says, love is all we need. I feel like the luckiest man in the world right now. So basically we just wasted a whole day. How's that different from any other day?